Hey friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. We're going to be going over the following week, November 28th through December 4th. We're starting a new month, which means I've got a new sacred oracle card of the month. This one is Collapse the Field. Through your soulful will, you have the power to instantaneously release or collapse outdated energies and open to the infinite potential inherent in each moment, in each breath. You can consciously reconfigure what no longer serves, transmuting it into something new. Clarify for yourself what is calling to be released while simultaneously attuning to the new frequency of experience that your soul is ready to express. A new frequency or experience your soul is ready to ex express. So that's the energy for the month of December. I'll be pulling 12 new cards for the new year, 2023. You can look out for that video um, in the future. Yeah, this week we're coming off of a Capricorn moon weekend, which is very steady. It's like the energy of working diligently towards a goal, not really caring how long it will take, just that it will be done properly. Clear thinking, long-term thinking, overcoming challenges. I feel like that's gonna really color the first half of this next week. Community, number eight, community. That's the card of seeing what your community needs. Looking around you, how can you be of service? A change in the wind. Number 12, change in the wind. An imperceivable or perceivable shift. A shift. So a shift in something the community needs. Oh boy, I wanted that one. And a deep knowing. Mm -hmm. So it's like you understand on a profound level, hello Sag season, <laughs> a deep knowing that something has shifted uh, within you and or around you. Mm. Oh, that card wanted to just fly out. All these cards are flying out today. We have the Queen of Cups underneath. Compassion, intuition. There's that deep knowing again. It's Queen of Cups, deep knowing. Nurturing the element of the cup, our emotions. Understanding our emotions. Uh, that reminds me of a transit that's coming up this week. This Venus opposite Mars uh, has carries a lot of tension. It's a transit that happens maybe every other year. Uh, what's important with that is that we find a healthy physical outlet like exercise or dance. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going. Page of Cups, something unexpected or a young person. What do they, what do young people need? It's showing up under the community card. What do young people need? Ace of Cups in reverse. A change in the wind. And the Ace of Cups in reverse. You're learning about what you seriously want despite there being this moment of tension or I'll describe it as like an upheaval of desire. Um, a heated moment. Mm -hmm. But we don't lose sight. We're not losing sight of what we really want. We have a deep knowing and I think we're getting closer actually to what we really want. Hermit in reverse. There's Virgo showing up. Five of Wands, Conflict, White Noise. Uh, let's keep going. Empress in reverse in the center. There's Libra, Taurus. Uh, we're actually getting to a Taurus moon this coming weekend. So there's that. Um, this kept the past weekend, by the way, this Capricorn moon weekend, we just got out of that's that we're coming into this week. That's also the energy of like, don't seek external validation. 
So seeing community show up, um, sort of with this unexpected energy and also this Five of Wands, sort of feels like white, Five of Wands for me is always like this white noise card. It's like everyone has an opinion. Um, you're entitled to use that opinion or like, you know, take it or leave it. And you're also entitled to just sort of do your own thing. That could possibly be this, be this shift in the wind because what I'm seeing is that there's a stopping of um, love or emotional energy being put into something within the community. You know, some people are around you. And this came up in a reading recently, this energy of going solo. So this sort of feels like that too. We have the hermit also showing up. The hermit's in reverse. When it shows up in the reverse, it means we've done our time um, in solitude or just on our own seeking that which we are you know, seeking our purpose or just seeking our own gifts. And the hermit in reverse then says it's time to take that out and to take that out into the world. Four of Wands in reverse. Hmm. It's showing me a lack of something that was once happy and sort of stable doesn't feel that way anymore. And I and I it's coming out by the Empress in reverse as well, which is again this lack a lack or just this removal of nurturance because I think what's happening actually is, yeah, what, whatever this community is representing for you, you're showing up with something a little bit unexpected that's going in another direction than what everyone else was thinking. And so that's why this is, I think, showing up as a departure from the norm, a departure from the safe zone, a departure from that which has been established. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. There's the community card again. I mean, that's collaboration. You know, I, I will say that the message here with, with the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Wands and the Page of Cups, all of this together is showing me a message of despite what other th people think, you are enough. You are worthy of coming to the table. You have your own gifts to offer. You have your own wisdom to offer. But it may not be necessarily what other people need. What other people need. I don't know. So I think there there is actually a search for purpose here in that sense that there's like there's so there's a need within the community that is either cropping up or becoming apparent and it's like we're not yet there in stepping into um fulfilling that need. I don't think that's a real expectation here. That's not what I'm seeing just that mm, bridging, uh, minding the gap that that those two themes are present. Self-worth seems to be a repeating theme a lot, and I will say that Neptune goes direct next week. It's been in retrograde since the end of June, so it's um, Neptune representing fantasy, illusion, and dreaminess, dreams of the future. And now it's, uh, when it goes direct, it's like we're going to return to this more fluid, dreamy state of mind. Um, while it's been direct, I think has been more of the, we can see clearly, we can cut through a lot of bullshit, we can see people for what they present themselves as, like their true colors. I think we talked about that um, over the summer or in the fall. Um, early fall. We got the Ten of Swords showing up. The end of a destructive cycle. The end of a destructive thought cycle. It's, it's a mental paradigm. Uh, Neptune going direct is also square Venus. So it's like be cautious of the distorted image. Our, mind, our mental traps can show us distorted images of ourselves and distorted images of others. And so if it's square Venus, love, beauty, Venus showing up here in the middle um, with the Empress in reverse as well, 
this could also be pointing to that distorted image. Be aware of when you're projecting. Be aware of your projections. You know when to stop them. I mean, especially um, if you're uh, creating distorted images of like potential romantic interests. And I say that because of the Mars Venus um, opposition that's happening. It is a good time to do business though, because I feel like the Capricorn moon is really giving us that energy. So especially if it's related to a creative outlet, that's what I would be doing this week. One more card, please. Thank you. I knew this card would show up. The Knight of Pentacles. There's that Capricorn steadfast energy. We're working towards something. We don't really care how long it takes. Let me read from my book for a sec, the rest of these transits that were happening. Yeah, this is, this is what I was seeing in this, was the work without getting tired. You're able to deal with obstacles and challenges, becoming organized, having good judgment and clear thinking, concentration. Mm-hmm. And that Venus opposition with Mars is an increase in tension, desires. Uh, use physical movement to work through this energy. And the moon is in Aries on that same day. I feel like that's relevant. And then the next day, a desire for companionship, true love. <laughs> um, a common sense approach to love and attracting serious types. You may have had a heated moment that shows you what you want on a more serious level. So be tender with yourself and self-sufficient. That's the we, that's the message for the this coming weekend, the Aries moon weekend that moves into Taurus. Don't hate yourself. Don't hate yourself. The yeah, you know, that's that's been a theme. That's been a theme, y'all. Like if you have some serious feelings about another person, whether they're good or bad, Know that it's coming from you. It's coming all from within you anyway. And that's that Neptune going direct. That's that Venus and Mars. And it's all the planetary sort of um, influences of this week. Um, why don't we read from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck? Let's read about community. Number eight. It's about belonging. Being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family, friendship, knowing your place in the world. I'd say that that's here, and it's also, the opposite is also here. It's like we're in dis discord. Discord? Not the app. We've become disharmonious in a certain group. I see that here. Um... But you, in, you may be walking away or the, maybe there's like healing or, fi or fixing something. You know, there's, there's a growing awareness in any sense, in any case. I don't see yet where it's going. But what I do see is that you're working really hard on self, um, your perceptions of self and self-worth. So that you can know what, so that you know when you've entered a community that also sees your worth because you have that self-love and they're just reflecting it back to you. Okay. Um, let's go to change in the wind, number 12. A sense that unseen change has been initiated, preparation for a storm, awareness that your plans are not on firm ground, feeling a shift, uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow. That's interesting, you know, if we're associating that with the Neptune direct, like going direct, that's a really big planet. Um, it could feel unstable. It could definitely feel unstable. So it's interesting to see that there's like this preparation for this storm. I think the storm is definitely happening in your own mind though, in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay, 43. 43 is deep knowing. 
Intuition, of course. Listening to the oracle within empathy and hypersensitivity. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with source, the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then act accordingly. You're now invited into the sacred dialogue of deep knowing, so tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Unusual sources. Page of Cups energy. Mm, let me know what you think. Which parts of this resonated for you? Questions? I want to say thanks so much for joining. I have had the song for this week, the recommended listening, since before I even started prepping for this video. So go check it out. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on the next one.